Uh, greetings all, and welcome back to Globit's Gaming Channel. Um, light tanks. I've had a bit of a feature on these in the channel recently. Um, I've had Asdim send me some absolutely amazing games. And with tanks like the Walker Bulldog, the LTTB, the RU251, the T54 Lightweight, I think the Frenchies don't exactly get that much recognition anymore. They are quite strong tanks. This is the 1375. Um, it's the Tier 7 French light tank. Um, I'm a bottom tier, because I'm a scout, obviously, I get light tank matchmaking, I'm wrong Windstorm. Now, what I'm going to do here is, I tried to highlight this when Asdin was playing his games. The key to driving light tanks successfully is knowing where to be, to and what to do, etc, etc. And I thought I might show you my version of how I play light tanks. Now, this thing's an autoloader. It's got a 15 second reload for 6 shots, and it's basic penetration. I don't carry premium ammunition in this thing. It's 144. With 135 damage. Now you do get a little bit more penetration with the EPCR rounds, but I'm not really that asked about my French tanks. I want to get the 1390 because I'm asking the guys, um, to my clan guys, to basically grind towards competitive tanks. I've got things like an IS3 and that, but I'm more of a heavy tank. When you're in command of a section or a team or a, a, a clan war slash tank battle, you don't really want to be in the scouts because you need to be. A little bit more aware when you're driving scouts so i like to drive my heavies uh, when i'm in command but anyway we digress so take an early position here now the enemy have some light scouts as well they have the vk2801 there he's going to be a problem so i'm not going to jump over this cliff very quickly i'm going to go up this hill too fast but he is backing off um but i think we will have been proxy spotted by doing this the e25 carries on going but he is taking fire i know the t44 is just fired i can take a couple of speculative shots at him now the problem with this tank for me is it doesn't carry a lot of ammunition it's only got 36 rounds so you've only got like six clips worth of ammo so you've got to be quite not frugal with your ammunition but you need to be making sure that you make your shots count the side of a t44 is ideal now this basically this guy it forces him to go forwards he's just taking a beating in the rear all right he's got to go forwards now two of my shots missed now the aiming circle does you know tend to spread a little bit when you fire in between rounds so a little bit more patience there would have probably been a little bit more advantageous but never mind but i'm just gonna wait for the reload pop out again now there's not a lot of gun depression on this vehicle so you've really got to be thinking about it. now what i've done though for those of you have keen eyeballs amongst you is i'm facing the wrong way um, i believe correct me if i'm wrong you guys that know a bit more about it than i do i think there's more gun depression to the rear of these vehicles oh there's that t44 again and tuck in now we don't know what kind of module damage you're doing to these guys either because we're hitting them in the sides but We'll see at the post game stats now I've pointed my I'm pointing my tank that way because the thing is faster forwards and the turret is at the back now if you send your front end out first you've got to expose a lot more of your vehicle all right to the enemy what you do if you drive out backwards and I just get a chance just to unload in these guys you know they're just being a pain in the arse but I'm not directly tanking anything you know I'm not directly taking anybody on because I don't think that TIS can actually see me because if you look at my map if I just expand the map slightly even I can't see him. He's just outside of my view range. And I know an IS, IS has got a lot worse view range than an AMX. And I get a better camo rating than him. However, when you start to take on things like T-34s, I probably wouldn't have taken that. Going back, thinking back, I probably shouldn't have taken that shot. And I forced the reload. All right, by pressing the C key. And what I decide to do now is I want to push a little bit to see if I can get shots on these guys that aren't spotted. But it's a bit of a mistake. Type 62 there. I'm not quite loaded. I could have done with a couple of speculative shots against him. And I take a hit from the T-34. He absolutely takes the sh smacks the living piss out of me. So I've got to get away. You know, I use my gun to get my gunner back in action. They're still firing at me. I'm really lucky there. Knowing when to run away. There's no way I'm going to take on with that amount of support that Type 62 there. Because he'll just keep peeking, keep me spotted. And eventually the heavies will deal me. So what I'm going to do now, I want to go looking for wounded tanks. We're in the mid game now. Yeah, it's 7 all, and for some reason the replay is glitching out. We're in the mid game. It ain't my job to be tanking tanks, so I'm going to go and find things that are wounded, all right, and take them out like a proper auto loader. All right, come out, do me burst damage, and piss off again. Initially, I decided to go to the right up here to go and try and get this T44, but then I sort of think to myself halfway up the hill, I'm thinking, this might not be such a good plan because now that T44 has seen me and he's got friends. He's reacted to me. He's got friends. Now, when I was actually... And I just Yeah, reasons. I just bounced it because of just reasons. Because French. Um, I didn't have XVM working. That T-44 player is actually quite good. Um, if I'd have had XVM, I probably wouldn't have pushed him like that. 
Uh, but I shouldn't have done that anyway. That was a mistake. I relied on my armor, and this time, thankfully, it paid off. Where did it actually hit me? I think it hit me on the edge of the turret, so it was an auto bounce. Now, wounded IS. Oh, yeah, I'll have some of them apples. Thank you very much. Fully loaded. Two shots should be enough. Booyah. And this is where you play the game in light tanks. This is where, in the later stages, you can actually be worth your weight in gold the, uh, to the friendly team. That Lerv is still on full health. He's played a good game, but this wounded T-34 might be a good kill if I can get him. Oh, looks like he's lagging. And uh, thankfully the IS-3 helps me out. I could have taken that guy out there, uh, but it is a risk for me because I am a one-shot to him. Now, this is a mistake. All right, I sit, shooting at long range at the front of a heavy tank. And I waste ammunition. And the Tiger jumps in front of me. And unfortunately, I hit him in the turret. So I wasted three rounds there. Three rounds I could have used later on. All right, I've only got 13 shells left. Two more reloads. Well, this reload, one more plus extra. So I've got to be careful. I've got to pick my shots. And I decide now would be a good time. Because the team are out of position, I want to draw the enemy's attention back this way to try and get them out of their cover. So I decide to start capping. Initially, I want to go behind this rock because this is a really good rock to use. But then I look and I realize, oh, balls. I'm in range of the Tiger. Now, this thing hasn't got very good gun elevation either. It doesn't stick the gun up very well either. So I decided to use this convenient IFK tank. Because I'm a scout, T29 is ideal to hide behind. What I'm going to do now is just let the cap count sit up. And the, I'm going to right-click aim here, pop out, have a shot. Miss, pop out, have a shot, did some damage. Makes the guy back off. All right, he knows he's being shot at. He doesn't want to take any more damage, so he backs off and puts him out of position, which allows the Tiger P to shoot him. Okay, now, <coughs> I can't afford to get shot. I've got 43 cap points. On statistically speaking now, I didn't realise how good these guys were on the enemy team. If I'd have had XVM working at that point, I would have actually looked at and gone, shit, I need to really seriously think about capping here. And they decided to shift position. Right, because the next threat for me is not that Lerva. That Lerva's got more problems than me. It's that T-44 and his friend. Okay, I think the friend is in the, yeah, the Type 62, that guy I met earlier. A Type 62 has the engine power and the speed to get back and interrupt. So I'm hiding behind this rock because I was last spotted behind the T-29. T-44 can't see me, but there's your 64. One shot, miss. He misses. One shot and take him out. And that's secured the game. Now, <clears throat> most people now say, oh no, don't cap, kill all. Fuck that shit. Look how good they are. They both killed a third of the enemy team between them. I want to secure the victory. And I even get a well done from my own team, if you look down in chat. Alright, so let's check out the uh, post-game stats on this one then. When you get a GG from your own team, it's always good. So, post-game stats then. Alright then, post-game stats. Got me a first-class mastery badge, um, which in this tank, I haven't played many games in it. I'm quite proud of that, to be honest with you, because that's, what's that, better than 95% of the players that play this thing? And it's a progression tank that a lot of really good players go through, so I'm happy with that. And I managed to get fire for effect. Caused more damage to any vehicles than value points to your tank, and I managed to get myself an invader medal. Um, not a medal I'm actually that proud about, but it won the game, so who cares? Winning's winning at the end of the day. <coughs> Netted myself 3,000 experience, okay, without the uh, with the double, sorry, and 35,000 credits. Team score, did okay. Didn't do better than the KV-4, but I'm in a light tank, you know. Managed to do 1,900 damage. The KV-4 had an absolute blinder of a game. So did the Lerva. Big shout out to you two. Yeah, especially you in the Type 62 and the guy on the T-44 on the Lerva. He played an absolute blinding game. Just unfortunately, um, your team weren't up to the mark. Our, our team were just slightly better. Your team sucked. Yeah, but our team sucked just slightly more. Just out of interest, these two, the top two players on the enemy team did more experience and they had more experience than two-thirds of our team. Bless them. Yeah, we've all had games like that, though, haven't we, guys? You know what I mean? <laughs> we've all had games like that. Yeah, so that's my version of light tanks. You've got to survive to the end of the game, guys, and eventually you can actually make a difference. Yeah, little Frenchie made a difference in this one. All right, take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.